Okay, so what we're gonna try and do now are discrete random variables. That's in probability theory. Uh, just like the title says, <laughs> coincidence, I guess. Um, so what is a random variable just before we start? Um, a ran sometimes in an experiment, you're going to want to model after the outcome. You're gonna wanna make a function of the outcome instead of the um, actual outcome itself. What do I mean? Let's take an example. Tossing dice, um, let's say you roll a one and a six. So now the actual outcome is the one and a six. Now, when you model a function or a random variable, you may not be interested in the individual outcomes of each uh, die. You may want to analyze the addition of both faces. So one and six, let's say seven. You Now, those have multiple um, answers or solutions, two and five, three and four, four and three, five and two, six and one. And so it can get pretty interesting, especially as time goes on, these applications to probability three, probability theory get uh, pretty interesting, I think, anyways. Um, so let's take an example now. <clears throat> we're actually gonna take an example of tossing uh, three coins, and we're interested in the number of heads. So we're gonna look at why being the number of heads of the coins. So that's the coins landing head side up. Um, now there are four possibilities for such a situation. Either there are no heads face up, one head face up, two heads face up, or three, all three coins. Um, so let's, let's look at that. So the probability of zero, when y is equal to zero, we have one situation of tail, tail, tail. Now the probability of when y equals one, we have a few situations obviously. We have head, tail, tail. Then we also have tail, head, tail. And then we have tail, tail, head. Um, I, I think that should make sense. These are equivalent probabilities, obviously different situations. I'm not equating the situations, just their probability of happening. Then we have the probability of y equals two. So two heads face up, same situation or similar. Head, head, tail, which is equal to tail, head, head, which is equal to um, head, tail, head. Uh, I mean, you just have one tail that gets shifted around between the three coins. Here you have one head that gets shifted around. It could be any one of the three coins. And now when they're all heads, well, that should be, you should get that one. They're all heads, one situation. So now if you look at this, if you, if you look at all the situations, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different choices. Now that means that head, 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 um, that is one out of the eight possibilities. Now this is three over the eight. One of, um, getting y equals to two are three out of the eight. Same with when y equals one is three over the eight. Let me write that a little bit bigger. Three over the eight, three over the eight. And uh, when it's tails, it's equal to one over the eight. Just gonna put that over here. So um, that that's that's uh, uh, random variables, I guess. A glimpse at it, anyways. I really do suggest more examples. If you want me to do more examples, please, please ask. Um, I'll be happy to do a few more. Um, if you didn't get something, write a comment. Um, I really, I don't think I got this right away. I mean. Look simple, but you'll soon see that it can get quite interesting. Um, I just, you know, sadly practice makes perfect. Um, and that's, I guess, the, my uh, suggestion. So now the next step to probability theory is probability mass functions. That's gonna be the next thing we're gonna look at in this video, and I guess the last thing. Um, and it's just a representation of what we've done right here. Now I went ahead and uh, drew it so you don't have to actually watch me sit, uh, sit there and watch me do this. Um, 
hopefully I can get it properly in there. So now we have uh, our values 1 over 8, 3 over 8, 3 over 8, 1 over 8. When we had no heads, that was 1 over 8. When we had 1 head, that was 3 over 8. 2 heads, 3 over 8. 3 heads, 1 over 8. So this is the uh, weight or probability. And this is the random variable on the uh, x-axis. So this is going to be, you know, y. And this is going to be our probability, whatever you want to, whatever you're calling it. So that's, that's pretty much it. The one thing to mention, though, is if you look at this graph or even the values here, since we're talking about discrete, countable, um, random variable solutions, right? First of all, I want to point out that we don't have an infinite number of values of y, right? Actually, technically we do, but all of them, all of the other values than the ones that we have right here are zero. That's required for discrete random variable. Um, they have to be countable. And the key point here is that if you add up the set you're talking about, they're going to equal one. You have to have a 100% probability of one of these situations, one of your um, uh, variable values has to, they, when you add them all up, they have to occur. That's really the idea of discrete. Uh, there is something called continuous random variable um, where that's not required. Theoretically, when you go to infinity in both directions, you get something happening, i.e. you get 100% when you add it all up, you integrate all the way. But in this case, we're just uh, adding up four different situations, which is, you know, do the math, I guess, one over eight plus one over eight plus three over eight plus three over eight is one, one of these situations has to occur, which makes perfect sense. Um, I guess we're excluding a coin line uh, landing on its side, but forget about that, I guess. Um, all right, I hope you like the intro to random variable uh, probability theory. Um, I didn't like this stuff at first, to be honest, but it grew on me and I found it more interesting as I went. So hopefully you'll stick with it if you don't like it. And if you do like it, great. Um, I really hope this helped shed a little bit of light on the subject. And I'll keep going with a few more videos uh, if you want. Alright, thank you for watching.